What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert Online, and we are going to be going over assigning hotkeys. So, I'll go over the very, very, very basic of it all, and then we'll get into equipping other stuff into those slots as well. So, you start off on this view right here. This is what you're going to have. It's going to have your main inventory, and the item, and the scroll wheel on the right. So, I personally prefer my left and right just to be heels, but you can stick other heels or whatever the heck you want anywhere. Um, I'm just going to talk in general terms of myself, and then we'll go from there. So you can you can um, hotkey literally all eight of the options in the game. So if you look over there, point down a little bit, um, there's the eight hotkeyable stuff it shows you. It shows you even which ones you have selected. So as you can see on the third over, you got the two potions and then you got the full circle wheel. You can see there's all eight of the options are full. For the fifth one in, the one that you can only see four lights, obviously there's only four, there's only four selections made on that wheel. So that's really cool to me. Um, that actually shows you and it lets you know in case you fill up all of them and you want them to be identifiable if you if you forget it's a really cool look it's just a small minor touch that i do really like but if you go in here say you wanted two potions on there what you'll do is you'll hit a on the item a obviously and then you'll flick it in the direction that you want it so maybe i want it over there so we have two potions now there so now when i hit over it's going to bring this up and uh I'll just flick the stick in the direction to get my heal. Um, I prefer that it not be... I prefer it just to be one button click away to be healed in case I get in, myself into some horrible scenario. In order to remove, just hit Y and then flick the stick towards whatever you want to take out and it'll take it right out for you. Uh, but it's pretty simple for the items. You just go ahead and equip them in there nice and easy. The next thing that you can equip in there are skills. So this is interesting that I haven't quite... I haven't quite gotten into yet is equipping skills into the hotbar um, but you can equip skills which is a cool design and the probably the best way to do this in all honesty would be to have the skills set to just one so if I go ahead and remove that potion there now every time I hit left on the d-pad it's gonna do this skill um, it lets you get a little bit more um, so you have your right bumper, right trigger, obviously. So I have this attack, but then if I hit right on the or left on the D-pad, it's going to do a brand new attack to me. For me, uh, a different attack, not a brand new attack, a different attack. Um, it's something I want to try to work out. Um, I might switch out this completely, the up. I usually open up my inventory anyway to do, or press the start button to do any of this. Um, so I don't really think I need it. So I might actually assign that to a skill. And I might actually assign my down to bring out the black spirit to left trigger down. I don't remember to ever do left trigger down to pull up the quest. So I might change that and so I can have two more skills with my healing. Or three more skills if I choose to just have large healing potions. Um, but that's a cool thing that you can do with the skills. I'm going to set it back for now until I do decide to go ahead and do that but i think that's a really cool thing you can do with the skills to get extra skills because on, like on pc obviously you know they have all the different you have all the different keys and buttons that you can map and do anything you want with on on xbox we've got the four main buttons we have our two sticks the d-pad and the four buttons on the back and that's all we've got unless you have a if you have a scuff obviously you have the scuff paddles here but those are just remapped to a button already available so not really an extra slot. This is all your menu options. So if there's anything in the menu options that you want to pull up, you want to have available to pull up, you can pull it up here. Find mount location is a pretty good one to have up uh, as an option in my opinion. Um, and then social actions. This is really cool. I haven't delved into this because I haven't been doing a lot of social stuff. But these are all your emotes and your different stuff like that. So we can equip a couple of these and, and just see. So you do that. Okay, is it not going to let me emote? Com I have to complete a quest. Really, I have to complete a quest to do... <laughs> to emote. I didn't actually... Know Can I just do a wave? Game, just let me do a wave. There we go. <laughs> Look at that very awkward wave. But yeah, that's how you emote in this game. I'll use it a lot more once I'm in the end game and <laughs> interacting with more people. But that's how you equip those. But I pretty much think that's it. You can equip social actions, menus, skills, and items into your uh, hotkeys. 
right now my hotkeys are pretty much base i haven't messed with them too much it is something i want to take a look at and get into messing with a little bit more but i thought i'd show you guys uh, a little bit of the diversity that you can have with your ring menu settings um in case you guys didn't know but that's gonna do it guys drop the big old video a like if you did subscribe if you have not and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace